Maybe this just is the boss. Oh, shit, dude. Yo, this fucking Cobra. All right, what's up, everybody? We are on the fourth episode of Solo Leveling. Uh, before we begin, let me, of course, remind you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new to this channel and you haven't done so already. I, of course, react to this show on a weekly basis, so you doing that is very much appreciated. But last episode, a lot happened, right? I mean, technically, we're still coming off of the the aftermath of the first two episodes, which was super action-packed and a lot happened there, right? The third episode is more was more like setup, I guess, but I feel like it was by far the most important episode because it actually showed us what direction this story is about to be headed in. And it truly started making clear to me what the premise of the show actually is. And it's funny because you look at the title of the show now, Solo Leveling, and finally it's starting to become clear to me what that's actually about. You know, as these hunters, normally you aren't able to level up or something it's mentioned, right? Like people get their rank and supposedly just keep that particular rank that they get and the same was the case of course with Jin Woo at first who used to be just a like an E rank hunter that everybody looked down upon but now yeah after dying essentially he went through well not even a regular second awakening that's apparently somewhat of a it's not a common occurrence it's it's rare nonetheless but still there's several people who have gone through something like that right however what normally happens with a second awakening is that these hunters wake up and uh, find themselves having increased in their, you know, like level or whatever, right? Their rank. Um, ability points, I guess, uh, pertaining to particular stats that have gone up as well. Uh, I think that's sort of what it's supposed to, um, <clears throat> yeah, mean. And with Jin Wu now, he, for some reason, has this video game-like system where he's able to, you know, complete certain daily tasks and stuff to literally level himself up and once again that's where of course the title of solo leveling comes into play because he's the only one apparently that's uh, able to do any of this so all of that is obviously very fascinating right um <clears throat> but it also i will say begs the question for me or it gets me to just question what could possibly be behind that if there is anything behind it of course we, we don't know that but I will say that it's, it's like I just can't come up with any answer right now why it's only um, you know Jin Wu who is able to do any of this. I also thought back to the fact that we of course have been seeing his mom in the hospital, um, uh, basically in a coma state that was induced by the dungeon. So like these portals that showed up, right? Is what they mentioned. And so, you know, those two things combined, I almost start asking myself the question, okay, could there be something actually behind that or not, if you get what I'm saying? But <clears throat> yeah, the question very much is what, right? I mean, does the government perhaps know more about these portals? Um, I, it's another thing, but like, I'm still a little bit unclear about all these different associations that they talk about sometimes, because I don't exactly know how many different ones that we're necessarily dealing with if it's just kind of a single one and it like branches off into several associations that they keep talking about or something is going on there too again there's just not been enough time for the show to really start explaining some of these things but it's a lot of food for thought i will say and you know of course we've been seeing a couple characters like mr Choi, who's going to be playing a larger role there is that uh, female character with the blonde hair who popped up in the first episode and then in the third episode as well for a little bit there right so they're, they're building particular things up right now. The question simply is what, right? Uh, of course, with this episode now, we've been able to enter this instance dungeon, I think it was called, which that, that's another thing that I found kind of funny almost. Like <laughs> Jim Wood literally completed his own daily task and as a reward is now able to put his life at risk in this dungeon. <laughs> it's kind of weird to me, you know? Like it, it, it sort of goes against... Uh, yeah, what a reward, I guess, should be. Although, I guess I kind of get it because, you know, that instance dungeon is simply going to allow him to level himself up again by defeating a bunch of monsters. And so, technically, it's kind of like, okay, all these things build upon each other and he's just going to be able to, you know, go up the ranks more and more with everything, you know, like every little activity that I guess he completes. So, we'll see where, you know, the show and the story will go from here. I'm very much excited to... Um, uh, yeah, to find all of that out. And for now, guys, let's just dive into this fourth episode of Solo Leveling. Of course, once again, if you enjoy my reactions to the show, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, 
hit the notification bell so that way you won't be missing out on any of my future reactions. And then for now, let's just dive into this new episode. Yeah, this wolf was looking particularly dangerous though. Okay, he's got the, the parkour down though. Oh. Is he already getting some new abilities or something? Damn. That was a good punch. Yeah, right. We saw him break the apple and stuff, right? <laughs> this thing is threatening as hell. He's gonna make a run for it. Oh, he's gonna look in his backpack for something. But water and food, I don't think, are really gonna help you. A weapon with magic power. Oh, oh, is it? I mean, what are you saying, to be honest? Is your inventory your weapon? Oh, shit! He just summons a fucking sword out of it. Holy fuck! Damn, he saw that cut. He cut through half his body. Wow. I still don't get it. How is he able to then use a weapon that he technically can't afford? Dude, I'm loving this soundtrack though. It's kind of a... Uh... Oh shit. It's kind of giving me some Attack on Titan vibes, isn't it? Damn. Right in his mouth. Oh damn, he caught it, man. <laughs> Seem genuine, I think they are. Wow. Oh shit, man. That's it, boy. Run off, pussy. Level two. <clears throat> yeah, I won the. Okay, actual combat levels you up, I guess, huh? So that's what I was wondering already. Like, you can. Yeah, okay. You can assign those. Hmm. I love it, man. It's so reminiscent of... Yeah, for me, just the Souls games for the most part. Played plenty of those. Bloodborne. Magic gems. Okay, this is that loot, huh? Hey, can be useful. What even is this, though? <laughs> you cannot buy anything at your level. You still need to unlock the shop. Oh, you can. We can still sell at least. That get. Yeah, okay. That gives us some uh, points, coins, whatever. Can we actually convert it? Oh, shit. So the instance dungeon also has a boss, huh? <laughs> See, but this is what I don't understand. So you've got ability points, you've got levels, you've also got ranks, I guess, right? He's still an E rank, technically. What will allow him to go up to, like, D rank? How many levels does that take? Oh, dude. My man brought his family along, huh? Yeah, okay. Damn, man. 
Oh, dude. Yeah, just thinking about his family is giving him all the strength that he needs. Wolf Assassin. Right, and we still have this portal right now. Yeah, no, it doesn't. We've got this portal literally in the middle of the street, of the highway. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, 34 wolf fangs. Travelers, yeah, okay. That's a lot of loot. Teleportation stone. Oh, so now he doesn't need to fight the boss, huh? I guess he still wants to, though. Yeah, it's an easy way to level up. I feel like I know what you're going to do, though. And I want you to move forward, to be honest. Ooh. Is that how he just put it back in his inventory? I guess so. Okay, Joey. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, we're gonna have a bunch of monsters on the street, huh? A shortage of healers. So she's. I mean, they already tried summoning her towards there, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so... Oh my god, man. Of course. That's so fucking video gamey. Holy shit. Yep, you know white is like easy. Just cannon fodder. Uh, he's probably gonna be marked purple or something with red text. is gonna be yeah terrifying man his sword can break as well oh I, like zelda had that i think right so fucking annoying <laughs> i always love these first person shots going around the corner down to the metro, yep. Oh shit, is it getting like over flooded or what? Dude, my man was attacked by water. What the fuck is going on? Oh wow, already broken. He didn't even get to start the fight. Maybe this just is the boss. Oh shit, dude. Yo, this fucking cobra? Yeah. Orange is actually less bad than red, though, right? I guess that means he, he actually has a chance. <laughs> Going barehanded, though, I don't know about that. Oh, man, yeah, that's gonna be fucking difficult, dude. Look at this thing. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, no. I feel like, I mean, what fucking strategy do you want to deploy here to take this thing on? This thing is just too OP. Threw the whole fucking metro on him. Well, you've got the lightness now, at least, to, to evade it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so close. Oh, wow. What is this flashback? Who's talking to him? Oh. Wow, this is the dude from the first episode. Their leader. 
giving him the motivation speech and everything. Okay. Wow. Man. Literally like... Wow. Yo, my man just punched him through the pillow, man. Not my man, my snake. One with overwhelming power can... Okay. So stop being weak. Yep, yep, yep. Survival of the fittest. I think they mentioned that too, right? Exactly. At the end of the day, strength is the most important thing, I guess. Huh? In this kind of world, at the very least, it is. Oh, dude. I love it. You can't tell me this music does not remind you a little bit of Attack on Titan, though. Wow. The blue eyes. Fuck, dude. My man found newfound resolve. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I love it. This is so well animated. Look at this. That's crazy. Yeah, you better make use of it then, huh? <laughs> is that is that what he's gonna continue doing? For the time being, just all put it in strength. Up that first. Wow. Dude, he's gone fucking crazy already, man. <laughs> Damn, yo. Wow. Instance dungeon completed, I guess. Level up. <laughs> oh shit, what is this? Spear of some kind? Oh, it's a dagger still? Paralysis and bleeding effects. Okay. <laughs> Start comparing and stuff. <laughs> As the boss has been defeated, the dungeon will now revert to its original state. I guess they mean the world. Yeah, okay. I mean, technically, it still was in its original state, right? Because the people that were still there could just continue their normal lives, I think, right? I think so, because we saw the girl just, like, walking through it, not even realizing something was going on. Announcement. Oh, this is about that portal. Yeah, this is about where Joe, he was summoned to. Yep, we need you. Yep. <laughs> he's actually going to be able to, to have a purpose here now, man. Like, he's going to be playing a significant role in this fight, I guess. Only a giant magic beat. Wow, one boss to the next, huh? He can... Oh... Wow, look at the blue glow. Holy shit. Well, I say he's going to be able to play a significant role in this, but actually I kind of doubt that still. I think he's still a little on the palette for this. But together with the team, they can they can probably take it on, right? They just need whatever they can get. Defense is too strong. Yeah, we're not the greatest at being a mage, though. Oh, man. 8 E rank hunts and 1 D rank hunter. And there's Joey. He's, he just noticed her, right?
Oh man, every single time. That smile will not stop haunting them. Yeah. Pure fucking traumatization. I don't blame them. When I saw that smile on Attack on Titan, I never stopped remembering that either. Man. He really feels... Okay, he's feeling good about this, huh? Oh, just throw it. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't have much of a use in... Okay, that broke the defense. Now we can strike its weak points. Oh, dude. I did not think we'd be taking this thing down already, to be honest, man. I thought, like, surely they'll save that for next episode. Were they able to tell who did that? <laughs> A little kid over there. Ooh. No, he ain't. But I guess now they're gonna start catching on. Like, you'd figure eventually they'll... undoubtedly catch on to what's going on with him, right? Yeah, she can't believe it either. Wow. Damn, was that it, man? Yeah, no, honestly, that was a that was a great episode. I mean, it goes to show you how Jin Wu is already very rapidly sort of advancing in his in his capabilities, I guess you could say, right? Like not only being able to take on the uh, the boss, the you know, the the snake or whatever that we came across in the dungeon itself and all the wolves, you know, leading up to that of course, but now also this man, that the fact that we took out this huge yeah, like crazy monster that they were uh, fighting as a team. Jin Wu playing a significant role in that. I had not expected us to be able to, uh, uh, you know, like pull off this much in the span of a single episode so soon already. You know, having seen, of course, how weak Jin Wu was at first, um, how much he struggled, even last episode when you thought about it, right? Like uh, with the couple of goblins at first that were attacking him and he, you know, like was genuinely struggling there to, <laughs> you know, do anything back. There was the... Uh, was that also a serpent? I forget. No, it wasn't a serpent. It was some scorpion crazy creature or something. That's like a massive one that chased him through the desert, right? And there was nothing that he could basically do. All that we were doing was like push-ups and stuff. I mean, Jin Wu has genuinely just not really been able to do much fighting yet. And here we go. It's episode four. And suddenly, we're just taking down one creature after the next. It's kind of crazy. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it basically leads me back to what I was talking about at the end of the reaction, though. Surely, at some point down the line, the government or the Hunters Association or whatever you call it is gonna catch on to what's going on with them, right? Like, they're gonna be able to notice that, well, they already did just now, that Jin Wu um, uh, just helped them out massively in taking that thing down. What is going on with him? He's an E rank hunter. He shouldn't be able to do this. They went and checked him to see if he was still an E rank hunter, and it very much told them that, and they just walked away immediately, right, when they did that scan last episode. So they're going to find this out, but the question does remain for me. And I don't know, I mean, you know, it could be pure, like, conspiracy theories or whatever on my part, but I do genuinely wonder if there's not something behind it where they've, they've wanted him to become this for them or something like that. I, I mean, I don't really... I'm not saying that the whole stuff with the portals, that they're not genuinely concerned about the monsters invading them and stuff, because I very much think that they are. But simultaneously, I feel like there's more going on behind the scenes, or there's, there's a reason why this is happening to Jin Wu alone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what parties are truly still at play here, right? That's kind of what I talked about in the intro talk. That's what I'm fascinated to find out more of. But for now, this was a great episode, guys. Really hope you enjoyed my reaction review to this fourth episode of Solo Leveling. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So that way you won't be missing out on any of my future reactions to the show. And then for now, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.